On this Veterans Day, many will overlook its importance or might not even pay attention to the many observances going on around our country. But today is a very important day. We must not ever forget the important sacrifices our veterans have made in order to defend our country. These sacrifices included separation from loved ones, extended stays in lands not familiar to them, and in some cases, perishing on the battle lines defending America from our enemies. We might not always agree with the wars our country's waged, we might not always agree with the policies our leaders have established. But this day isn't about our leaders. It isn't about political figures or lawmakers that have sent our soldiers into the battlefields, whether justified or not. This day is about those who served our country, who did what was asked of them, who defended our freedoms, hoping they might last longer through the sacrifices that they've made. This day is about those Americans who could have led a different life, who could have said this duty is best left for someone else to handle, but who instead took on the role of the defender. They chose the role of the American soldier so that their sons and daughters may see a better future. This day is about those who did what was asked of them, whether popular or not, because it was important. In their eyes, to keep America safe from danger whenever possible and to fight its enemies whenever necessary. So today, honor a veteran. Thank someone who's worn the uniform Tell a friend, a family member of yours who may have served our country just how much you're thankful for their service. Most did not serve for glory or recognition, and a simple thank you means much to a veteran. Veterans have given us a freedom, a security, and the greatest nation on earth. It's impossible to put a price on that. We must remember them. We must appreciate them. God bless our veterans across this land, and may God continue this great land of ours called America in memory of those warriors who've fallen from each branch of service, the Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, Marines, Navy. We often think of soldiers and veterans as being old men and women, yet most that gave their lives were young men and women. And they gave two lives that day for America, the life they were and the life they might have been. Maybe an engineer, a doctor, a teacher, a mom or a dad, a good husband, a good wife. They gave all that up for the future of America so that we could remain fee free. So when you see many standing for this flag, they stand for the man and the woman who perished on 9-11 as America was attacked. They stand for the maimed and paralyzed on the battlefield. They stand for the freedoms that we have under this flag. They stand for all the men and the women who serve today. They stand for those who've fallen the ultimate sacrifice of giving all for us that remain. Tomorrow, Saturday, November 11, 2017, is the day we celebrate Veterans Day. We honor Americans who have served their country in the armed forces. November 11th was originally called Armistice Day because it was on this day in 1918 that the First World War came to an end. The Armistice, or Agreement, was signed at 11 a.m. on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of the year. After four years of brutal trench fighting, approximately nine million soldiers had died and 20 million were wounded. A veteran is a fellow citizen, an ordinary person who at one significant point in his or her life made out a blank check payable to the United States of America for any amount up to and including life itself. Their bravery, their resourcefulness, and their patriotism marks them as America's finest citizens. Americans who stepped out of the crowd and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies foreign or domestic. All veterans have sworn an oath to uphold and defend the United States Constitution, a document that encompasses the vision of liberty and the nation of laws inhabited by free men. Our Constitution has kept America a beacon of hope for people around the world for over 200 years. Each of the men and women we honor took that same oath and continue to live by those principles today. Unfortunately, many men and women bled those ideas. Some even died to uphold them. Regardless, the decision to serve changed their lives forever. For many veterans, our nation was important enough to endure long separations from their families, miss the births of their children, freeze in sub-zero temperatures, suffer extreme heat in the wild jungles, endure injuries, and far too often lose their lives. Military spouses have had to endure career interruptions, frequent changes of address, 
and a disproportionate share of parental responsibilities as mom or dad was deployed on a tour of duty. The children often had to deal with changes in schools, separation from friends, and hardest of all, the uncertainty of whether or not mom or dad will be coming home after their next deployment. It has been quoted that America's wars have been like rungs on a ladder by which it rose to greatness. No other country has accomplished so long, consistently, or such a vast scale through force of arms. It's often said that without our veterans, America would be speaking Russia, German, or perhaps Japanese. Regardless of which view of alternative history you take, we do know that without our veterans, America would not be America. As we look at the Middle East today, we know there are a large, dangerous, and committed group of fanatics that want us dead. And while ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and other terrorists may lack the conventional weapons of Nazi Germany or Imperial Japan, they are every bit as evil in their intentions. Those who defend us from our enemies must be supported, whether their service was in Baghdad or Beirut. We need to serve veterans as well as they serve us. Even when the guns have temporarily stopped firing, let us today therefore remember Lincoln's charge to us with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right. Let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who have borne the battle and for his widow and orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and other nations. On this Veterans Day, please remember, it is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given you freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given you freedom of the press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given you freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the liberal protester, who has given you the freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given you the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given you the right to vote. It is the veteran who salutes the flag and who serves under the flag. You've heard the familiar song of Taps, originally played on the battlefield at the end of the day a call for all soldiers to extinguish all lights out, yet to continue to stand watch as the wolf growls at the door so that we may have peace here in our great country, a country we call America, land of the free and home of the brave. Go to sleep, peaceful sleep. May the soldier or sailor God keep on the land or on the deep. Be safe in sleep. Happy Veterans Day to all. God bless.